Hello and welcome to Dwarf Fortress. We last left off. I wasn't playing this game, but now I am. That's the t see. The Dwarf Fortress is a colony building game, much like RimWorld. Which, if you watched my channel before, you would know that I like a lot. In fact, it's probably most of my views are RimWorld. Let's see. Well, while well, it's a colony game. Today I'm not going to be playing the colony uh, game mode. I'm going to be playing the adventure game mode. So, I'm doing this mainly because I can't find the adventure playthrough on YouTube. And YouTube has everything. And I can't find the adventure playthrough. So it's kind of bullshit. <laughs> so, I'm going to make the world large. Yeah, large. I'm gonna give it a long history. Number I'm going high number of civilizations, high number of sites, and have have number of beasts, more medium, natural savagery, medium, mineral currents frequent. Most of these are explanatory, so they're history. Because every time you create a new world, uh, it will automatically randomly generate a history for it then it will continue then after random generates that it will continue generating more history until you decide to tell it to stop generating history so yeah let's see here a uh, mirror, mirror occurrence in fortress mode it of course gives you more new resources to work with However, in in adventure mode, all it really does is give the shops more things that they have to give you. So, yeah. No, when I just played the game, someone advised me to keep the history to short, but I want to see what happens when it's long. In fact, I don't see any downside to making it long other than having the world generation become longer itself. So, this is recording. Well, I'm just gonna press Y and watch it generate. Now this will take a long time. So, what I'm gonna do is see if I can cut this part out. If I can't, it'll, it'll be in. This game's graphics are simplistic. It will still lag simply because of the fact I have a bad computer and there's a lot of shit going on at once. Look at this. I'm loading a thousand minerals. That's why I'm gonna cut this part out because it usually takes very long. Once it took me like seven minutes to on a large world. I should probably exp mm. Let's see if I'll cut this part out. Mm. Just a second thought. Actually, I won't cut this part out. I'll, in this meantime, I'll explain what everything is here. The spikes or mountains. The blue lines, rivers. Light blue means not deep, shallow, I mean. This blue stuff, oceans and lakes. The f this, I'll tell you how this affects fast travel. In fast travel, you cannot cross across, across mountains or deep rivers or lakes. However, if you go to normal travel, which of course is a lot longer, you can climb these. However, it will probably take extremely long. You won't be able to fast travel while you on while you're on it. It will simply not allow you to. So if you're in the middle of the mountain here and you try to fast travel, said so nope, gotta leave the mountain for fast travel. And shallow rivers, you can just walk across it. 
but like I said, deep reverse, you can't. Also, in adventure mode, you have to constantly eat and drink. And you probably get most of the waters from the river or a well if you go find one in the town. That's basically it. I have no idea what this red spike here is. I assume that different spikes mean different kind of elevation, like these small ones low, these ones medium, these the white one, the gray ones medium, the white ones tall. But I saw different kinds of them, like this right here. If if the, my new uh, game capture program is picking up my uh, mouse and this red one right here I don't know what these means because I, in all my playthroughs I never travel to these parts let me try to go around them because of the no, fast travel don't want to waste like an hour going through all this crap Actually, I think I know what these are. This, I think this means uh, the absolute peak of the mountain range. And this red one means volcano. Makes sense to me, but I'm going to check it out. That's going to take mad long. So I kind of don't want to check it out. I have no idea how is one supposed to cross this water. Is one supposed to cross all this water? I suppose that you could. I suppose it might be both in the game, but I've never used one or seen one, so I'm not sure if I end up starting. If, if there's a quest over here, I'm going to get to it. And let's see, there are, it now I'll just put animals and legends. Legends are important figures. They can range from elves, dwarves, humans, and monsters, kobolds, and goblins, which don't count as monsters in this. They can just count civilizations. And that's what we're placing right now. So this is the Age of Myth. I already put down some history. The Age of Myth will make things change a bit. Let me scroll the map until this thing is done. I want the age of myth goes more because I want to have some big civilizations to work with. I'm going to go to a hundred or so. See, so during the age of myth, civilizations come and go. Oh yeah, I forgot to explain this. This is historical figures, dino historical figures, and events. These events are where affects the historical figures. The historical figures are kind of like the legends. They can be human, elf, dwarf, goblin, kobold, and monsters such as dragons, hydras, bronze colossus. What's the other mega beast? Things I just labeled there were mega beast, but I forgot the other kind of mega. Oh, and rock. R O C, not R O C K. It was they also be titans, which are which they fuck things up. I will not if my first quest has to do with me dealing with a titan. I will not take it. I will go somewhere else. The next. Damn if they have some bandit problems or something like that. Because Titans in this game are dangerous. 
well, of course, you have to be dangerous. If you're gonna give the name, given, you're gonna be given the name Titan. Let's see here. Oh, I wouldn't know. These are all the civilizations. These are. This is evil. I believe this is dwarf. Dwarven. Hmm. These are elves, or maybe these are human. I have. I don't remember at all. But dwarves, elven, and humans are friendly. Goblins and kobolds, not so much. You can't start as goblin if if there are goblin civilizations, but they're usually but since goblins are only in them in it for themselves, there usually aren't any goblin civilizations, so you can't start as any. And you will start as kobolds, but however, since they're so primitive, there usually aren't kobold civilizations either. You usually can't start them either. Just about now. Is it starting to lag like, like nobody's business? Yeah, it's close enough to a hundred. Now look at all these events. No, they're above. They're all above a hundred thousand. You see, and the game is doing all that. And that's why it's lagging. You know, the graphics aren't very good. It's randomly generating all these events to happen. Hmm. I did tell it to stop, correct? It's be lagging so hard even though I told it to stop, it's still, it's still going. Suck is done, or is it? Nope, still going. And this is why it's still not to, not to choose long history and the medium-sized world because. I really need to get a better computer for this game. Just going to show you how to make a game doesn't look as good as you, that good. It can still be texting on your computer. And this is a new Windows 8. My old computer crashed because of a virus that I thought because I thought the program was harmless and that my uh, computer was just flagging it because I thought it was harmful when it really wasn't I paid no mind turns out it really was harmful I done fucked up Oh wait, this stop? Oh hey, it stopped. So I'm gonna zoom over the world real quick. I am going to use the world as it currently exists. And it's doing all this other stuff.
and it gave all these places names. Apparently the dumbest thing to do with this game is to start a fortress in an icy evil biome. Because it's icy means that you won't be able to grow anything. And evil means the monsters there will be a lot stronger. So I wish you done hmm. Looks like this actually is a way to get from here to here while using any kind of boat. Yeah, there's now a strip here. I somehow doubt there's any way to get to here. Or well, some sort. There's always no civilizations there. And, oh, I just want to scan over these things I don't know about, see if they're actually peaks. And I'm going to accept this as putting on the units, which are basically just th things and creatures. And that was 16 minutes just creating the world. Damn. And 2 gigabytes. Damn. This view is probably going to only be the world and character creation. the hell's coin information that is are coins so important well coins are important because you know they're money but it's so important that they need their entire thing right there I thought it's at least it crash yet. But this world eventually go up. Oh, singing history. And it's not even halfway done. Start playing and there are three modes Dwarf Fortress, Adventure, and Legends. Legends just allows you to look at all the things that your world has created, like historical figures and that kind of stuff, and, and civilizations and important places. Now, these all the mega beasts, semi mega beasts. And Titans, which I made the beforehand, beforehand, you can actually wipe out the entire dragon race if you want to, and you got a skill too, and and the stats too, and the tools too. Your skill only gets you so far in this game. You're fighting giant dragons. Now we take a look at historical figures real quick. We'll see all this. Hydra. 
and these people and these creatures and people have like these long ass nicknames based on what they've done and what they represent these are all mega beast and forgotten beast which are just mega beasts that's well the more titans that spawn on our ground well, we got a long list here of course there isn't a two there's almost three thousand things to look at so I'm gonna start playing adventurer For this to count down to the X, uh, this is a dwarven calendar. Each month has 28 days, so it's like so their year is slightly smaller than our year, but it's still 12 months. Uh, this is, I assume that I think I think that this is summer. You know, this is spring, this is summer, this is fall, and this is winter. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this at least, uh, I'm pretty sure at least that this is winter. So, everything else should fall in place. Cut this one part out. Got choice between these civilizations and what race you want. Like I said earlier, we don't have a choice for for goblins or kobolds because they don't really make civilizations that much. And and if you look at the map, the blue squares is where it's possible for us to spawn when you choose the civilization. Hmm. 
I might use this one because it spawns in the middle there so it won't be too cold I won't do the snow and water thing but this is better access to larger land mass and this civilization is puny and this civilization is for some reason a part of it is all the way on the other side of the world I just wonder how that happened. And I'll probably have to go looking through legends like for hours to figure out how that happened. Yeah, I'm gonna become a demigod because I'm a noob at this and I actually do need to become a demigod to do what I wanna do. Now you're going to give yourself superior strength. High agility. High toughness. High endurance. Very low analytical ability. Superior willpower, I believe. But we can't do it right now, so. Very low creativity. Very low patience. Very low linguistic ability. Very low mus musicality. The ones I lowered are pretty much ranging from useless to almost useless. Raise our social awareness. This allows us to have extra people and to take people as companions. Because some monsters only appear if you travel alone. And those monsters are very hard to take on, especially if you're alone. Like the boogeyman. And yes, this game does have big boogeyman. So I'm going to make yourself a proficient swordsman uh, I'm gonna make an aqua observer novice swimmer I believe proficient shield user Proficient armor user. No, that's too high. I'm actually going to lower our armor user a little bit. That's normal. And I check that higher. I'm going to make our armor user higher. Now, yeah, this should give us a pretty good starting some very pretty good starting stance and you know we're a novice swimmer we still can't swim for shit this is only to help us if we really have to swim especially if I think probably have some armor on and with that I'm going to go to the next step I am going to become a human a male human I'm going to change my name to I can and also because I have a thing where every character that I named the first name Jax survives the longest of the mighty cat oh misty cat the god of night and stars oh yeah and in this game the gods are randomly generated too and they also are real even though, but if when you try to talk or pray to them, they don't answer. You actually have to go up to them face to face for them to actually answer you with it. And they'll probably kill you. I'm going to be a peasant because the demigod, the peasant demigod.
Okay, how does one become a goddess of both youth and weather? What's the correlation here? So, I'm going to go with this. It will load a bit. And I'll talk to a person nearest to me, ask what's going on in the world. Ah. Alright, so this thing right here, that's me. I press K to talk. And no one's near me. What is this then? Am I outside? Hmm. I guess this is a person then, or not. I haven't played, I haven't used regular texture packs in a while, so I often have. No idea what I'm doing. What the hell is this? I should probably look at it. You press L to look. Oh, it's a bed. I see. So, then what's this? It's a bag. Yeah, the. I usually would be able to hear people that are nearby. This is like I somehow started in the deserted town. Which is probably this is my adventure real quick. I have a bronze sword sword and an iron shield. This actually is pretty good. And with my uh with my skills in shield and weapon, I should be pretty set. But the problem is that it still needs some companions. Holy crap. And then I just did a texture, but I'm not sure if it's night or day. This town seems abandoned. And that's a problem. This boogeyman will still attack you. And if you're traveling at night in, a in an abandoned place, some will travel and try to move myself to a place, but to a place where people by pressing caps lock T. This is the fast travel map. And so we got fortress to the north. Oh, yep. A see in the side here, everything has abandoned. And it's still daytime, so. Nothing here is a band though. But I have no money on me, so I won't be stopping any shops anytime soon. Okay, I'm just gonna leave the town then. This is a pretty big town too. A tavern. I'm not sure that's not nah, I can't find anybody here. That is an enemy. And I think I actually trigger a random encounter. Yeah, those do happen in this game. An ambush from what? It's crappy. I really hope it isn't Boogeyman, because if it's Boogeyman, I'm gonna be pissed. Is it this A thing right here? Oh yeah it is. So I'm gonna look at it. It's an Unger recruit. I don't necessarily want to mess with that alone because alligators. Like that's fast enough, so I won't be able to escape. 
gonna make I'm gonna have to make it come to me. Uh, so you press caps lock A to attack anything that's close to you. I'm gonna start my move off with blocking. Well block this or bite with my iron shield. And because of that, she's recovering from attacking me. So I'll counter attack. Let's see, now where should I to her lower body or upper body or neck or head? Red means it's almost impossible. Purple means it make this does make it impossible. You know, on this side it tells you how much damage it will do if you hit. Square means you do all uh, no easy strike means you do do one hundred percent damage that is possible for you to do if you hit. Uh, but however, square and easier strike, not as much. So I'm gonna attack in in the upper body with a stab, but she jumps away. You could dodge in this game, so she knows my attack, and so she dodge in advance. So I'm gonna use that to get myself out of here. up again it lied again just now I'm about to go in the fire right now let's see the next seems to be a tricky scratch so you won't be able to go for these areas. You know, you start someone in left, they're automatically dead. Unless they're zombies, which the game does have. And you go out there do a lot more than cutting their head off to kill them. So I'm gonna stab her upper body. Give me a second, will you? So guys, actually decided to attack our lower body instead. Then we might have to stab anyway. I seem to have sick make her made her sick. Yup, I her guts, and now she's in a sickened state. Uh, of course, that does have a negative impact on our fighting skill. So I'm going to end. But my sword, however, is stuck in her body. So, to, do, to get rid of that, I have to move. Move in direction to pull it out. I'm gonna finish her off. So I, just see I can't finish her off. I'm gonna go for upper body again, see if I can stab her through the heart. I'm gonna stab. Yeah, but it broke through her ribs. And she's knocked out. So I'm gonna finish her off by cutting her neck. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep slicing her neck until she dies.
I just control for a stem instead of a slice. It does seem I have the power to slice through her neck. So I'm gonna go for a stab instead. Yeah, I'm, I'm now covered in her blood, which will attract some monsters. I'm not exactly sure to wash blood off her head, but I'm just gonna keep willing at her until she dies. A little stab to the head will, will fix this. Yep, killed it, killed it. So now what I'm gonna do is I want more food. I'm going to press X, B, and looks like it, looks like someone actually gave it a name. This was probably someone's pet, and they will be pissed when they hear I killed it, which will lead to some fun. I butchered her cor or the corpse with my sh with my knife. I'm going to grab her meat, all of it, and I'm going to end the video here.